G'day guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I've got my second round of the Pro Tour this week, which is being played at Red Hawk Ridge Golf Club. Now I've had a look at the leaderboard. The first round I had 10 under. I feel like I left a few shots out there. I missed a few short putts. So today I've had a look at the leaderboard and I'm currently in a good position. However, to get into the top three, which is my goal this week, I've got to shoot 13 under par. So 22 under par is currently in third place. So the goal for today is to shoot 13 under par and get into that third place. Leading this week is a ridiculous score. It's 35 under par. So there's no chance I'm gonna uh, get anywhere close to that. So if I can get 13 under par this round, so if I can shoot 13 under par this round, that'll vault me into third place, which would be really good. Let's go into the tournaments tab and we're gonna go to the Pro Tour. Um, so as you can see, the new Pro Tour has been uploaded this week. So we're gonna go into the Pro Tour uh, Red Hawk Ridge Golf Club and we're gonna play round two. So today, the course is set up off the black tees we got Sunday pins, same as last time. We got auto putt at five feet, 6,000 foot of elevation. Stimp is still 10, and we got fairway and green firmness as normal. All right, guys, so we're back on the tee at Red Hawk Ridge, and we've got a bit of wind, actually. I forgot to check the wind. So let's just go into the settings and we'll have a look. So we actually have breezy today. A bit more wind, a bit more to think about. So from the first time I played this hole, we are hitting dead downhill, 31 yards down the hill. It's 500 yard par five. We got wind off the left now. So I'm gonna have to aim slightly further left and hope the wind just brings it back. Don't draw. Go. Okay, not a good drive to start the day. Yeah, I didn't think that was drawing that much, but that's all right. We are 141. Downhill seven yards, which is 134. Let's have a look up by the green. So 134, less our 12% is 117. However, we're in the deep rough, which is a penalty of about 20%. So with all the math done, it actually works out to be 141, carry distance to the flag. Now look at my lie, I'm sitting 18 degrees down and five degrees to the right. So this thing's gonna come off right and it's also gonna come out a bit hot. We've got the wind up there as well. Green slopes back to front. So with all that said and done, it's just gonna be a pitching wedge. I hit my pitching wedge 136 yards. So I'm just gonna try and hit a standard pitching wedge and hopefully it comes out a bit right and works out. and it got held up by the deep rough. So that's actually gonna leave us a little uh, little flop shot. And we've gotta try and take advantage of this hole because with my length, it should be pretty much an easy birdie. So we've got 17 yards to the front of the green. So we've got about five yards to play with between the front of the green and the pin. I'm gonna to look to carry this about 20 yards and hopefully that works out. Okay, a little short, it was 18 yard carry, um, but it's an easy birdie and we'll take that. Easy birdie on the first. All right, now we've got a downhill par four, 386, 24 yards. I think I reached this green in the first round. So I'm just gonna try and do the exact same thing. We do have a bit of wind up there. That was a nice drive. Come on, be good. Kick up there. Pretty good shot there. Happy with that. Uh, that's gonna leave quite a long putt though, which as you know from the first round, these long putts for me, I find them really hard to judge the pace. So I am gonna chip this. I'm gonna chip, it's about 20 yards to the pin. So I'm gonna look to carry this 16 yards. Oh no, I've hit that way too hard. I mean, I hit my goal. I carried it 15 yards, which is what I wanted to do, but that was obviously too much. Um, I should have tried to carry that about 12. Okay, so now we've got a little tester, downhill part, left to right, about an 11 foot feel. Okay, first part of the day. Yes, in, great putt. That was a really good putt. Good speed. Okay, on to the third hole. Par three, it's downhill six yards. So that is 177. And 
Okay, it's kind of sitting in a bowl here. So anything realistically that lands about here is all gonna feed, as long as it gets over that ridge, is gonna feed down towards the hole. We have got the wind helping us though going um, at that angle. So, so with all the math done, it's 146 yards to that spot. So I'm gonna hit a nine iron. Be good. Come on. Come on. Okay, really happy with that shot. I don't know if you can tell, but that hitting board that I made, that hitting strip, it is just so good. It really takes the pressure off those shots where I, I like to hit down and through. It really just takes all the hit out of the, uh, the forearms and the elbows. All right, we've got a nine foot putt. It is a right to left downhill. So it's gonna play about eight feet. No, I pulled that. I don't think I pulled it that much, but okay. It's a par, I mean, realistically with that shot, I should have been making that, but it is what it is. Okay, on to the next hole, the fourth hole, we got wind out of the left and uh, I'm gonna play this hole similar to how I played it the first round. I'm just gonna hit a hybrid down the middle, hopefully, uh, and leave myself just a wedge in. Oh, that was a bad swing. I'm just hitting my hybrid bad. This used to be my favorite club, um, but I'm just really not hitting it good at the moment. We got away with it. It's, um, it's left us a long shot in, but we got away with it. So we're 152 minus five, which is 147. Green slopes left to right. This is playing about 130 with the uh, difference in altitude, but we are into the wind. So I'm gonna play this just as a normal pitching wedge. Sit. Oh, I wish that just, I wish that just fed into the circle. I wish that just went in the gimme circle. Left myself a tough putt now. I'm gonna aim left edge. So it's gonna be about a, a five foot feel. Get in, that was a pressure putt. I didn't like that one. We got 398, uh, downwind. Uh, I'm going to be a bit more aggressive today. I think last time I hit a three wood off this tee. Um, we're trying to chase birdies now, so I'm just going to hit driver. Get left. Stay short of that rough. Okay, we got lucky. It didn't go in that long rough. And we've left ourselves 77. We've actually opened up the flag here, so that's quite good. So we've got roughly 80 yards because we're in the rough. So we got that 5% um, that penalty, 80 yards. It's gonna come out left. Uh, the wind's gonna counter it though. And the green slopes back to front. So we wanna leave it short. With the altitude, this is playing 71 yards. Oh, that's gone halfway. Oh, Joe, just didn't commit to it. Okay, we got 43 feet, about, it's gonna be almost like a 50 foot feel. Go in. Okay, it's in the circle, I'm happy. Realistically with that wedge, I should have, um, if I just commit to the shot, it would have been close. All right, what do we got here? 180, so it's playing 158 yards carry with the altitude. Wind's going to bring it in. 158, that's a tough yardage for me. I'm just going to hit an easy eight. Come on, wind, hit it. Oh, how is that? How is that carried 145? Ah, oh, I'm just not committing to these shots. Okay, 18 yards. We've got a left slope here. 18 yards. I'm almost going to have to carry this almost all of the way. So I'm going to try and land this about 16, 15, 16 yards. Happy with that. That's a really good bunker shot. And we're on to the seventh, the really long par five. It's uphill and it's 647. So even with the altitude, this hole's a monster. Uh, we've got wind off the right, so it's just a, a bomb drive. Oh, not a good swing. Go on, roll out. Roll out. 
Okay, that's left us 337 up the hill and wind off the right. We are on a two degrees left slope as well. So it's just gonna be a, a hammered three wood. Try and get it the same as last round to like 40 yards out and then um, give ourselves a, a good opportunity to get it close for that birdie. Oh, it's going left. Stay right. We got away with it and we got 58 yards. We're in the rough, so that's a 5% penalty. So it's playing about 60 yards. Again, green sloping back to front, 60 yard feel. Um, it's gonna take off a little right, but then we got wind out of the left. Okay, I'm hitting all my wedge shots halfway today. So I'm really not committing to these wedge shots today, which is, um, it's quite frustrating because I had two really good opportunities to get the wedges close today and I've been halfway with both of them. Okay, we've got 27 feet up the hill, so it's gonna play about 34 feet and it is right to left. All right, 34 foot field, let's try and make a bomb. We need to get something going here. Come on, turn. Okay, didn't turn for us. All right, on to the eighth hole. And we've got, oh, this is this short par four. So it was a solid hybrid the last round we played. So I'm gonna hit hybrid. I am gonna aim a little right side of the green and hope that wind brings it in. Okay, that was a good strike. Sit, 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 sit. Okay, really good shot there. Let's make an eagle putt. Come on. So we've got a downhill putt, right to left, 22 feet or 23 feet, probably playing about a 17 or 18 foot feel. Oh. Easy birdie, to be honest, I thought I had that. All right, let's see what we got here. Uh, okay, yeah, this hole, I actually can reach it. Yeah, I pulled my drive left on this hole last time. So this is just a driver and even into the wind, I should be able to reach it. Go on, be good. Get up there. I will take that much better swing. And this is almost dead straight. Okay, big, big, big opportunity here. It's gonna go left to right at the start, but then at the end, it's gonna turn back. So if anything, I think the left to right is just slightly more dominant. So I'm gonna go inside the hole. I've moved it maybe a, a couple of mil, so 27 feet. So it's gonna be a 30 foot feel. Didn't hit it. That was a missed opportunity. All right, guys, that is the front nine done. Hope you enjoyed that. If you did, let me know. If you got any questions, let me know in the comment section below. We are one better than last time. Heading on to the back nine. Um, we've got to have a really good back nine. So part two will be out soon. Hope you enjoyed that, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.